Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons, and we're going to talk about the death of the D&D Wizards website. Woo! Let's go. All right, so um, Teos Abadia. Uh, If you don't know, so I've been incredibly blessed. I've had two mentors in my life. And it is a truly special thing to have a mentor. Like, they kind of, you, you just sit down and talk with them. You share your troubles. You, you talk about where you want to go. And then they help you get there. And they're like, hey, I've done more in life than you. And this is how I did it. <laughs> like, and then they're like, you know, you should do this. And then you talk to them like three months later. And they're, you're like, well, I did what you said. And this happened. And then they're like, okay, adjust, tweak, go, you know. And, but Teos Abadia is he has become a, a mentor I never met. <laughs> so, um, and so basically I have been blessed to have two actual mentors in my life, but, um, you know, but one physical proximity, uh, the, the only time the mentoring stopped was when I was just not physically in proximation with them anymore. Right. But Teo Samadhi is becoming a mentor to me, the, the mentor I never met. Right. And, and the reason why is he's just a beautiful human, right? He's like, kind and tolerant and calm and intelligent and wise. He's everything I want to be, right? And so the way I I get close to him and learn from him is I watch his content. So he does his own content about how to make tabletop role-playing games. He also has Mastering Dungeons, which he does with Sean Merwin. And he has an amazing Twitter feed, right? And I feel like if you listen to him, he talks about his own life in those contexts, right? And so Teos Abadu is just this amazing, you know, human that you encounter if you know about D&D. And by the way, he's one of the authors on Acquisition Incorporated, a D&D canon hardback, right? So um, so he came, he went to the Influencer Summit. He went to the 2023 Spring D&D Influencer Summit. He was flown out with one of the 130 people who were flown out and actually hoteled and like, you know, like... Dungeons and Dragons is the best tabletop role playing game in the world. It is the top number one tabletop role playing game in the world because it does what other companies simply don't. There's no other company in all of Dungeons in, in all of tabletop role playing games that could do this. Like, there's no other companies in the world flying out 130 uh, influencers to you know, just to talk to them. Like, you know, people are like D and D is the number one tabletop role playing game in the world for a reason. Right? And the reason why is it sets quality across the board for the entirety of the industry. Every other company in the world is following Hasbro's example. Right, There's nobody who's even remotely ahead of them. Right, And so one of the things that Teo Sabadia said was he, he brought... He, he did exactly what they intended, right? There was all these fools who were like, why didn't they just tape the thing? Uh, Mike Flourish, right? Um, uh, uh, Mike Shea, Sly Flourish. Woo! Super intelligent guy who just checked his brain at the door when it came. He was in, he was invited to the Influencer Summit. And you know what he had the gall to say? He said, oh, if you were uh, guilty, or if, if you felt uh, jealous that you didn't go, you could have just gotten all the information the next day. Right, uh, and I'm like, what a waste to put your sad sack human, you know, form in that space. And then he actually said, "I didn't give it. Nothing I did impacted D and D there. That's on you. You got invited. You had the opportunity to say something." And he actually came out like so. Mike Shea, Sly Flurs. I've read his book. He's a genius. Right. For some reason. He didn't pack his brain when he went to the D&D uh, Influencer Summit. It was like, oh, nothing really happened. You could just uh, find it all out as soon as it was on Monday the next day. And when I went, I didn't say anything of significance or impact anything. There was no point for me really being there. Like, it's, it's astounding, the words that came out of his mouth. right? And I was like, yeah, you were absolutely a waste of a seat there, guy. But that ain't on them. That's on you. right? Like, and you know this when you listen to Teos Abadia. Right? Like he's like, oh, I went and I listened and here's a whole bunch of notes. And let me tell you exactly what happened, right? And that was the entire point of the summit, right? Was we don't need to, t- we don't have to listen to Watsy squawk. We get 130 people with different views and they look at what happened like a diamond and they, they see every facet and they let it shine off, right? And you see this event from different voices, right? And the fact that Mike Slur, you know, Mike Shea, Sly Flourish, uh, d- decided to lose his voice and to lose and not pack his brain for the trip is astounding. And I hope the next year when this, th- and by the way, people are like, oh, Scott, you're jealous. 
I can tell you right now, I am absolutely not jealous that I didn't get inv invited to the influencer summit, right? Let me correct something. People are like, oh, you're jealous. You didn't... Are you out of your mind? Like, are you, what are you thinking, right? I'm the only dude in the world who says every day, right, that Gary Gygax delivered a human flourishment engine and that Dungeons and Dragons was never a game. I will never be invited to the influencer summit. There's no, there's no, there's no hope in my head or heart that I would ever be invited to the influencer summit, right? And the reason why is they, like, okay, Hasbro can never, ever admit, right, what I believe about Dungeons and Dragons. And the reason why is I'm not here to say this to the world. I'm here to say this to the most charismatic, confident, intelligent people in the world, right? There are people out there who are running Dungeons and Dragons to cut goblins in half. I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to you, people who use Dungeons and Dragons to cut their own deficiencies in half, right? There will never be a world in which J. Scott Garibay is invited to a D&D influencer summit, right? Like my, you know... I am a rogue standing in a field shouting what no one wants to hear, right? And the reason why is I don't think this world wants to hear the truth, right? And in my humble opinion, I say the truth. And that is never going to be accepted, right? Or or even comfortable for anyone at Hasbro to even process, right? So the idea that I was like, there's, a, so let's be super clear. There's absolutely no expectation that I will ever be invited to an influencer summit, Right, and the reason why is, in my humble speak, in my humble opinion, I speak truth. People don't want to hear. Right, that's never going to be welcome at an influencer summit. Right, if you despise Dungeons and Dragons, you're going to get invited. But if you love Dungeons and Dragons the way I do, you'll never get invited. Right, because love is frightening to people. Right? like, and I, th I think that's, I know that sounds strange, but I'm telling you. And, and if you look at the world, you take a look at how many people are like, it's complicated. Love is frightening to many people, right? And I and I love, I genuinely love Dungeons and Dragons. It's the fourth most important thing in my life, right? So, so I, I'm getting off track there. Sorry for that tangent. Let's go. So Teos Abadia said, hey, the Dungeons and Dragons wizard website is going to die, right? It's going to go away, right? And all there's going to be is a vestigial nub that says, hey, did you come here to this to this Hasbro website that talks about uh, Magic the Gathering and four other products we own and D&D used to be one of them that you came here for? You are now going to go to D&D Beyond, right? And that will be one central place where all Dungeons & Dragons information lives because it's confusing right now. It is confusing. There's two sources, right? You want one authoritative, one golden source, right? And the reality is, D&D Beyond has become a canon source for Dungeons and Dragons, right? And it is truly incredible what is happening with that, ca ca that canon source, right? It is astounding what is happening with D&D Beyond, right? So, let, so let's tick it off, right? Right now, if you go your, your lowest level, uh, and, and this cost... A hundred and fifty million dollars to establish, and it has not been matched by any company in the world when it comes to tabletop role playing games. There are companies right now scrambling to make anything even closely equivalent to D and D Beyond, and Dungeons and Dragons is farthest out on the VTT. Right, they're about to have a VTT that is going to absolutely crush anything on the market. Right, so there really isn't any the D and D gen. It is the number one tabletop role playing game in the world because it has no equivalent, and they take bold moves to keep it that way. Right, and killing the Dungeons and Dragons website on Hasbro, and saying, "Hey, if you're here for D and D information, click this button. You're going to find yourself on D and D Beyond." Right, and when you go over to D and D Beyond, right, one, you are going to have to sign in. Right, so basically, if you don't have any any sign in, I don't think this site is useful to you at all. I don't even think you can use it without a sign in. But once you sign on, right, you become one of let's let's count them off. So you're you're there you're there as a user. You do not own a single D and D canon uh, 
uh, digi, digi fizz, a fizzy ditch. So I own a physical book and I have its counterpart on uh, D&D Beyond. So I actually own about 10, I own the fizzy ditch of 10 D&D of, of my, of 10 of my D&D canon hardbacks. And by the way, I don't, oh, I do, I do. I actually don't own Acquisitions Incorporated, but I got it when they gave it away for free. I claimed it, and now I have it on D&D Beyond. So you can go on, you sign in, and then you simply claim everything you can get for free, right? So you could get the, the Vecna dossier, right? You could get a free adventure, like uh, all these, um, all these uh, like uh, keys from the Golden Vault, right? You could get Revel's End Adventure for free, right? So you can go in and be the lowest form of subscribe. You can be the lowest form of D and D beyond, beyond participant. You're signed in, and you have free claimed material, and you have access to everything you need to play Dungeons and Dragons through the basic rules, which are free to anybody who signs on, right? Then you can be someone like me who has Fizzy Ditch, right? Who has the digital counterpart to their physical books, right? You can also be somebody who buys a physical book and not a, who buys a digital book but not the physical counterpart. I don't even want to talk about those people because that is offensive and kind of repugnant to me. I don't understand why anybody would ever do this. They do allow it. I think it's repugnant and should not be even discussed. It's a, it's a disgusting form of partaking in Dungeons and Dragons, in my humble opinion. Right? In my humble opinion, I don't know what kind of monster human would do this. It is possible to do. You should not do it, but some people do it. All right. Okay. And I guess I have reverted to this in that I do. I did claim. The Acquisitions Incorporated book, so I have the the digital of it, but I don't have the physical book, and I do have I do attach appropriate shame for having taken that action, but I do want that book uh, digitally, but it's a little disgusting. It is disgusting. It's 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 like it's like picking your nose. You just shouldn't do it. It's bad. All right, so so there's those people. Let's not talk about that. You don't want to be one of those people. You need to you know, and and I should pick up Acquisitions Incorporated as soon as I can. But I got a lot of stuff I'm buying right now. All right, let's keep moving. All right, then you have, um, uh, and oh, and then, so then you have you have people like me who own the digital counterpart to their canon to their physical books, right? And then there's the final form, like I've reached my final form, subscribers who literally have a subscription to D and D Beyond. I do not have a, a, a subscription to D and D Beyond, and that's okay. Because I have so much content on D&D Beyond that I've literally gotten for free, right? That um, I can't even use everything I already have there, right? So I don't need a, I don't need a physical. I don't need a subscription at this point. But there are subscribers, and then there are people above that, completists, who buy these huge bundles and then buy all the material. So there are subscribers, and then there are mega holders, right? These are people who own literally own. Every say everything you can claim for free, and every D and D canon hardback in in digital form, right? That, that's a mega, that is a mega, that is a power user, a D and D Beyond power user. So you have uh, free sailors, right? You have um, fizzy dig owners, right? You have subscribers, and you have super power users, right? Who own? I would say a mega holder, right? A mega holder is probably a better way of saying that. Uh, is somebody who literally owns every single thing on um, on D and D Beyond. They're quite rare, but that's every that's that's the whole ball of wax, right? And I, and we get here, right? And D and D Beyond is becoming incredibly important. I have like I have a true amazing library of content on D and D Beyond, and it, and I've really grown to value it very very highly. So so. We got this awesome information from Teos Abadia. The D&D wizard site is going to die, right? And the reason why is so that Dungeons and Dragons can, can continue to set the quality standard for literally every single company in that is in tabletop role-playing games, right? 
Every single word of that word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion. When you get in the comments and send your traffic, please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.